Welcome back to I Am Bluff, those two are coming Lord and Tail playing Death Gunner once again. I'm going to play as the Hunter. I'm going to show you guys the most optimal setup you can use for the Hunter at the moment. Or pretty much the Korean setup that people are saying, in my opinion. When I ever go to one of those AP lobbies, they're always using this and they love this. I'm going to call it the Korean setup because it just seems like it's adored by everyone when we do use it. So we're going to jump into the Hunter class and try to find a match. Let's search for that. Wait, not US. Cancel. Go put that on AP. But before we end this video, make sure you smash that button like button. We're aiming for 200 likes this video. That'd be greatly appreciated if you do achieve that goal. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with our content on the daily. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. So we need to execute three runners and do those to, in order to win. So the optimal setup is taking the anti-personal turrets, followed up by hay down there, and then also um, taking the sniper and the shotgun. That's the combo. And that, yes, that's what it is. That is the setup right there. Make sure to copy this in your next Hunter match. It's really interesting. You got the turrets, you got the shotgun, the sniper for long distance, shotgun for up close. Then you do have the reveal once the turret does um, destroy someone, you're able to see them for six seconds when they're downed. And then also the stamina regen is just great. It's just great for roaming around the map constantly. So that's why we need it. This is gonna be a fun match. I feel in my bones. The runners are great to play, but when you have those weak team members, it just becomes too hard. But when you play as the Hunter, Solo queue, it's just so much fun. Wrecking five runners just completely in like five minutes is amazing. The map is spawning. Do we see anything interesting? Sadly not. Whoa, the sensitivity is so high. DPI too high, mates. So the runs are already in. We got 15 seconds until we actually jump into the map. And what I'm gonna try and do is get those blue canisters as quickly as possible, or the yellow ones. So I'm able to get upgrade damage on my weapon and also get the ammo that I need to verse these runners before I actually try to reverse them at the points. You may now enter the garden. Oh, blue crate, blue crate, blue crate. Got this. How much I picking that? Blue crate. Got that. For sure. Increased weapon damage. I love it. I, I hear something here. He's over there. One of the runners. Another upgrade point, which is amazing. That's one. The turret there. Another. This is the setup, man. This is the setup. Trust me. And then you use the actual turrets as a way to reveal enemies as you run away or do something else. It's a good tactic. Let's get this ammo just in case we need more. And right now I'm just waiting for the runners to reveal themselves. We got two charges into a bot post. We're about to get one more. I feel it. He's over here. Blood Let's get this one. Send it to the bar post. We do have another turret on charge, so that's perfect. So we do go to the walls of bar post. They're going to try and revive the teammates, but at the same time, we're going to dominate this guy and execute him. This is the power of this class. People don't understand how strong it is. And now I can use a sniper when I see the other guys, which is somewhere around there. Where'd they go? Reveal yourself. Oh no. I lost him. You just said I could send it. What the hell? That's weird. Let's get his ammo. We got two more runners to actually kill. Runner revived. We can revive as many as they want. It does not matter right now. I'm just getting more upgrade damage, in, which gives my increased rate of fire for the damage. It's beautiful. Arena event active. Runner revived. I don't know where that was. I can't tell. 
Whoa, that jump. That was insanely high. See this golden crate? Has activated the golden crate. These mates are giving me all these upgrades. I love it. Damage increase, rate of fire increase, weapon spread decrease. It's just beautiful. You gotta love it. Let's find these guys before they all end up dying or rage quitting because they get so tilted versus this. He's something really close. Okay, where well, he's gone. Got him. See you later, mate. Someone else here on my right. Oh, is he right there? Never mind, that's just a fire from that. Can we execute? Come on, come on. Don't stun me, don't stun me. He stunned me. Go for the execute. I'm stunning you. Oh, whoa. I'm stuck. Why oh, am I stuck? Am I stuck in the blood post? What is going on? I'm rubber banding. If they do keep on pulling these revives, it's gonna be so annoying to actually verse. Runner revived. Lost him. I'm lagging so hardcore right now. That's good. I want to try to bait this. Since they're not capping points, I can bait this easily. Can you get ammo just in case? Someone's over there. I can see him. Golden crate. <laughs> Another guy rage quit from the runners. This is what you do, you just drain them. You don't have to kill them. You just drain them. It becomes so hard for them to actually do anything. They want to just leave. But that's what we try to do. Make the runners rage quit this time. Oh my god. That's it, just one more runner, which will have to come because his teammates are going to die, and he's somewhere in there. That disorientate me. Oh my god, this thing's blocking me. Wow. But it doesn't matter. Either way, we've already won. <laughs> We're gonna get slaughtered. That's what we do in here, mates. I love this cast load out. Tell me what you think in the comment section down below about this cast load out. Because you have the sniper for distance, the shotgun for close range, the turrets to reveal enemies but also do damage, and then once they're down by the turret, 
you're able to reveal those enemies for six seconds when they're in down states and then followed up by um what's the other one in stamina region which allows you to roam the map even quicker because you're able to use your supercharged or your superpower which is moving really quick constantly it's just amazing and then if you want to spice it up even further melee someone then just snipe them straight away if you aren't lagging in my case it's always hard to go for those shots i try my best to but usually i just use a sniper for distance but either way that was a great game but tell me your opinions and thoughts in the comment section down below because I would love to know. If you guys did enjoy this video, show us by smashing that button like button. We're aiming for 200 likes this video. That would be greatly appreciated if you do achieve that goal. And if you guys want to see more Death Garden gameplay on my channel or Death Garden in general, make sure you share this with friends and hit the subscribe button to become a mate today. And that is all this video. Oh, time's going to be done. Don't worry. Back very soon. Hey, Dad's boys. We can't see nothing yet. Mates, I think I just found the most broken class loadout in this game. And it feels so fun. <laughs>